Welcome, welcome everybody on YouTube. Yes, I have heard your comments, especially to those of you guys who consistently want me to try out new things. Here is my current guild boss lineup. We're going to be fighting against Drake Knight today. So let's go ahead and try to take as much advantage as possible. You guys can see weapon wise, I do the demonic axe specifically on Arcane Caster. I want her to be able to not get pushed back or any of that so that if the enemy uh, guild boss does try to do a little bit of pushing, she doesn't move and continues to just continue that onslaught. You guys can see currently what my hero A's look like. Trying to do a little bit of reflective damage. Trying to do a little bit more pushing. I also try to put Blockhead on, um, on her so that she can actually... Uh, use her skills a lot faster. Hopefully that was actually supposed to make it so that the damage does get dished out a lot lot quicker. I am also hoping that using uh, my wrath here uh, hopefully it's supposed to dispel some of the the boss's skills. So let's go ahead. We're gonna go try this out. Let's go see it. I know you guys want me to do longer videos and everything now, so I am going to do what I can to showcase all my assaults here the best that I pretty much can. So let's go ahead. We're going to launch her out. We're going to drop everybody at the same time, and we're going to go on for the big kill. So here we go, guys. Let's go and try to do as much damage as we possibly can. Sometimes it is also based on my... Uh, my luck and RNG, it, not, it doesn't always work out as uh, I want it to. So literally you have to kind of pray that it does work out nicely. Otherwise it could potentially be problematic. All right. Like even right here, I can tell you, I should have used my all my divines like right off the bat for like say Abyss Demon and uh, with Toxic Shaman together. As you can see right now, my... my Arcane caster's kind of dying, so I'm going to try to see if I can bring her back up to to speed here. Looking good. We are officially pushing. Uh, and literally, we are doing as much damage as we can. You can see that he's pretty much targeting her and Abyss Demon at the same time. So we're, we're trying to make sure that the heals are staying up to par. We got to make sure that the heals are staying up to par. And what you want to do is you're focusing on a crit, okay? If the crit isn't really high at all, you don't want to use the divines yet. You want to kind of save it so that when you see that big damage, you could definitely go for the, the advantage, okay? So like you can see right now, 7,000. Let's go ahead and shoot off that damage. Literally, let's go ahead and push, push, push. This is the perfect time to go ahead and use that divine. And uh, literally right now we are waiting. You can see the crits have kind of dropped down once again. But let's go ahead. We'll use the arcane caster divine to uh, make it so that she can start reflecting that damage. We only got 18 seconds left on the clock. Look at how quickly it bursts at the last few like seconds, guys. I, I like to try to burst as much as possible at the very end of the video. So, um... Uh, so let's see, we're at 22, 20, or no, 21 million. Dang it, we, we normally could have done a lot better, but we did 21.1 million. So I, I consistently, I don't really change out my hero lineups per se. I normally, what I normally do is I actually uh, change up my, uh, like, my hero aids. I don't actually change up my mainline heroes. I change the hero aids. Um... As of right now, I have three blockheads. I do kind of think about making an uh, additional two uh, specifically for Gil Boss. The reason why I say that is because you like the way I also look into it is I look at how the top players do on a daily. So you guys can see right now, look at 1-1 one, one, freaking at the very top. You guys can kind of see how his formation looks like. Um, Literally, there, there has to be a blockhead everywhere. Berserker is required everywhere as well. Uh, I don't actually have Bullhead in here. I'm guessing having Bullhead and additional Arcane Casters could come in handy as well. So we'll, we'll kind of have to play with the numbers. We're going to have to play with uh, the Assault and kind of see how well that works out. Um, but yeah, you know what? Let, instead of using this... Uh, we could probably put in... No, you know what? We 
I would want to put in an uh, arcane caster into one of these guys to, to see how much more damage it could possibly do. Because think about it, right? I know this thing does reflect damage, but how often is he actually taking damage? He's not really taking damage that often, okay? But you guys can see uh, with each extra hero, the enemy hero will get bonus damage you can see that this really does uh come and work efficiently here but at the same time i'm thinking okay what if i did this instead what if i did it like this maybe this would actually work a little bit better uh because my 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 toxic shaman didn't look like he was in trouble that time so let's go ahead we're gonna go again drake knight action let's go try the second assault here so here we go let's drop it and let's go for it, guys. I mean, literally, I, with the heroes I currently have set up, I try to use uh, specifically that. So I, I'm going to respond to you guys. So make sure you guys comment down below if you guys want to see a specific hero aid set up or like specific hero line set up. I will go ahead and try the best that I can to do what I can for you guys. All right. So here we go. We're going to go push it. We're going to do it a little earlier this time. We're using like the the time frame as well some people have told me to hit at exactly one like use the divine at 140 and use the divine again at 40 seconds so i mean i listen to all your comments i try to do the the different tactics on a weekly basis so i'm doing everything that i can for you guys to to make sure everybody stays happy as well so this is it for all you guys drake night action everybody and i really hope you guys appreciate and enjoy uh all this assault uh, because it ain't easy to keep on trying new strategies because sometimes you know one that works really well you want to keep to it you know what i mean but there it is guys we got our divines back we are definitely pushing strong here we he normally you also want to hit when he's in dragon form you want to hit him in dragon form you don't want to hit him when he is like in normal form because this is where he has the most defense the most of the most defense so you can see right now, look at that, 12,000, uh, 40,000. Look at that. He, we are actually doing some big heavy hit damage right now. And it is looking great. It is looking great. Oh, my RK caster is kind of dropping there. Oh, thank you, Lord. All right. So 13 seconds left. You guys can see I was hoping that my Toxic Shaman would literally push out more damage. It kind of seems like I actually ended up doing less putting in uh, Arcane Caster as a hero aid. I did a lot less there. Did 19 instead. We'll also try another one one more time. Uh, I mean, like, I am also limited in what I have. So I can't exactly just go crazy and be like, oh, my God, we're going to do this. Uh, you know what? Let's let's try this. I don't, I don't know if this will make a big difference, but we'll try it with also having Enchantress in there. Uh, basically so that, you know, it's, it's stun proof and... And literally, you, you have a good chance. I mean, I'm changing out hero aids. I'm trying out different things. I, I want to see if I can push out as much damage as I can. So we'll see how well this works out, guys. So let's go ahead and start it out. This time, I'm going to start out with a big burst. I'm going to start out with a big, big attacks. Let's see how much damage that, that pushes on really early. And see if it, it makes sense. Okay. As of right now, we're making sure that Arcane Caster stays alive. Let's go ahead and push it. So here we go. Push it back, push it back. Let's get some big heals. Come on, big heals, big heals. No, don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. Oh, thank you. All right, so literally, there it is. We are pushing hard against the boss right now. Uh, literally, when he's in dragon form, this is probably the best time when you should be attacking. But make sure you're paying attention, attention to your crits and stuff like that. You don't want to be doing it when you're like in the three digits. When it's in four or five digits, that's when you definitely want to be doing big fat hits. Okay, big, big fat hits. All right, so here we go. We are doing pretty good right now. The damage is actually looking really good. And the damage is looking a lot better than I thought. All right, so let's see here. Uh, 50 seconds left. We're waiting on 40 seconds. We'll get ready to start plowing here. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. She's going low, low, low. Oh, big heals. All right. So it was exactly 40 seconds. I used the second skill there. 
I, I was wishing that RK Caster would have like a major ridiculous like a flow of those balls flying at him. But that actually didn't work out as, as planned there. But regardless, we're at 18.5 right now. We're doing better uh, because we still got about 16 seconds. Hopefully, in that time frame, we should be hopefully able to push. But even then, like I'm looking at my I'm looking at my uh, uh, Ambrosia, and she's like slowed down dramatically. That is sad. Ah, I did way better the first time uh, with just having it so that uh, they had full survival. You know, you guys gotta understand too when the heroes actually hit like rock bottom and they hit zero. Uh, literally, they from the Pangoli Divine, they actually gain a lot. Okay, the Pangoli, uh, I mean, not Divine. If they get the Pangoli Hero Aid, you, I mean, you can see that they get an attack rate boost of 40%. It really does help, but at the same time, uh, I feel like I need to work on more block hits. I also need to work on at least a minimum of one bull head uh, to get this ball rolling. You know, so I'll do the best that I can. So I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.